Well, the Netherlands used to be uh, in Indonesia. Let's leave it at that. So a lot of Indonesian food. It's very good. In general, the Dutch kitchen is just very boring. Like Dutch kitchen, classical Dutch foods are basically like, hey, I have this potato and I have this vegetable. Let's mash it together and eat it with like a pork sausage or something. That's basically it. I'm fairly sure that's how the majority of people ate back in the day. It's very healthy. Yeah, it'll, uh, it'll, you know, it'll keep you alive for sure. But it's not particularly exciting, you know? I love it because I grew up on it. But especially in the wintertime, that's about half of what we consider to be Dutch dishes. Just a bunch of different uh, vegetables and potatoes mixed together, and that's it. There are many Filipino, or there aren't many Filipino restaurants. It can be self-depreciating. Filipino food is only appealing to Filipinos. I doubt it. I well, other than the fucking half-cooked egg. No, what's it called? The half half-finished egg. What whatever, balut. No, 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 no. That, that, that dish, I don't know about, but no, fuck the balut, man. No, that sounds like a horrible dish. What did you link me? Dinuguan pork. Pork blood stew? A savory Filipino stew made with diced pork, vinegar, pork blood, and chili peppers. I watched this video at some point um, on this YouTube channel that I like to watch called Tasting History. So this is like, I like cooking, I also do like history. And it's like, this guy basically goes around and he makes dishes from ancient times. And he at some point made a stew that looks exactly like that. That apparently was commonly eaten in ancient Greece, uh, or ancient Greece. Let me. Um, yeah, tasting history is a really fun YouTube channel. That looks a lot like it, to be honest. Um, eating blood. Ah, there it is. Spartan black broth. Kinda sounds like the same ingredients as this. In ancient Greece, Spartan warriors were renowned for three things. Their bravery in battle, their pithy comebacks, and their atrocious cuisine. Their most infamous dish <laughs> being melos zomos. I mean, this is served with rice. This is kind of a nasty photo too, but... <laughs> You think Nomos over Zomos? Me too, dude. Any day. I'd eat it. Oh, yeah. I'm willing to try most dishes. Assuming it's an actual dish from the country you're from, right? Not just like a bunch of shit that you threw together. I'd try it. Nah, I would try Balut as well, but it still sounds disgusting. I don't know. It doesn't sound disgusting. It just sounds kind of messed up. And I understand there is some, you know... It's a little hypocritical of me. But, yeah. Can I make this like a tiny room? So we don't see the staircase? Can I... Ooh. We do still see the staircase, though. I think that's fine. Smoked brisket and ribs are the dishes of my people. Brisket and ribs. It's gotta be... Texas, I think. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I have never had Texan brisket or... I don't know. I don't think I've ever had brisket. I don't even know what brisket really is. 
Brisket is from the UK. Is it really? I like meat dishes in general, yeah. Uh, 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 I'm looking for my workbench. Local loves meat. Mm -mm. Okay. I currently have a copper sword. What I want is a merciless copper sword. I need whetstones for that. Okay, I'm gonna go dump some stuff over here in the chest. We're gonna start hunting. I don't know what I need to do with all this shit. I've got too much of this stuff sitting around, but I don't know what to do with it. I guess I can make another chest for now and just dump it in there. I don't really like dumping stuff like this, but I guess I'll just dump it in there. Um, I need to get copper. And I also need to get whetstone. I think it's over here somewhere. Whetstone is a specific area. Ah, here we go. Bandit encampment. This is gonna be an easy place. And I got to go check out Hartnepper's area. Okay. Hartnepper, I'm coming! Oh, you got Pizza Argo? There you go. Damn, dude. I like how everybody's got their own interpretation of how a castle should be. <laughs> He's got a horse called Soft Nepper. Hold to mount Soft Nepper. It's done. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Ooh, he's got a lot of places already here. I'm being followed around by a, uh, a rat. I would personally have to say the Dutch tradition of eating raw herring is pretty out there. As a kid, I never even considered it to be a bit strange, Reskin. You're very right. Also, uh, raw herring is delicious. Ooh, I love the symmetry. Uh, this is sick. Wait, what the hell? The material is too strong. Requires bear form, I see. Sorry, I wasn't gonna mine it. I wanted to just check. Thank you. Bye. Nice place. Dutch has very, um, or, or Dutch cuisine does have a lot of fish, yeah. We have a lot of, uh, different types of fish. Lutefisk? I think that's Swedish, isn't it? I've never had that before. Hartnepper is a gamer gamer. Hartnepper designed shit. Kibbling is very nice. Yeah, everybody loves kibbling, okay? Kibbling is a very common Dutch dish that people will eat, especially a lot of tourists, but also just Dutch people in general. Usually, like, in the, it, it, most towns in the Netherlands, or like most areas, have like a... A fish guy! That comes at least once a week. And it's very common in Dutch culture for people to... Go get kibbling once a week when the fish guy is there. Um, very common um, for like office buildings or whatever. Like people go get kibbling. Kibbling is basically deep fried. Like it's battered and then deep fried fish. Bunch of different sauces, I guess, but uh, most of them go for this, like this, this mayo-y, garlicky type of sauce. It's your your lunch for tomorrow? Yeah. Friday is the fish guy. Is the kibbling a Zerk unit? Hey, there you go. This will be a relatively normal way to have kibbling. Literally just deep fried fish. Um, 
That's it. Not a lot of people that wouldn't like it. Yeah, it's like fish nuggets, basically. But, but tastier, to be honest. F yeah, it's fish nuggets with fish. <laughs> I don't know if it's better because it's it's fresh or just higher quality fish or I don't know, but Fish sticks? Gentlemen, I was just trying to heal. Uh, I'm very close to dying. Oh, don't die. Okay. How many whetstones do I have? Six. How many do I need? I don't know. A bunch. <laughs> We're talking about all these dishes that man and how your vegetarians are like, ah fuck. I'm assuming Filipino cuisine is pretty meat based. I don't know, though. There are two dishes in all of Filipino cuisine that are vegetarian. Right, I was gonna say. The idea of eating a blood soup is not, yeah, my favorite, but... I don't know, humans ate blood for many, 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 many years. We probably still do in meals that we don't realize, you know. Filipino cuisine is basically whatever's on your farm. You put it in a pot and you boil it. Right. I mean, to be fair, that's basically the origin of any... Uh, any cuisine, I guess. Yeah, we had it. We were poor. This is uh, how we survived. And suddenly it's now become a treasured thing. <laughs> it makes sense, though. I guess it's all about quality of ingredients, right? Yeah, but if you have a very limited amount of, of food, and you have to, uh, you know, make sure your family survives. You're not just gonna let the blood go to waste. Um, I need a couple more of these whetstones, preferably, but I think there's nothing else for me to loot here. So I've got about 12 of them here.
What if you have pieces of dough, some tomato sauce, and pineapple? When life gives you pineapple, make pizza. That's what my grandma always says. Oh shit, no! Whew, that was scary. I'm looking for more whetstone. Ooh, the bandit stronghold. I haven't even been there yet. We should go have a peek. You can make whetstone? Oh, you know what I also wanted to do? I wanted to go to the copper mine again. Um, I should definitely get some more copper. When life gives you a pineapple, move under the sea. Okay, fine. I'll allow it, Mutlesis. Did I drink water today? Um, I have finished my bottle of water. I've probably drank about two and a half liters at this point. No, a little more. I drink a lot of water, but mostly because I talk a lot. I find when I, uh, on days that I don't stream, it doesn't go as easily. <clears throat> bottle of water? Yes. That's how everybody in England talks, chat. Everybody. Identical to what I just said. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. So I need more copper. You drink three liters of water a day? Oh, jeez. I mean, this this bottle is about it's 1.9 liters. It's about half a gallon. Um, I just make sure I drink that and then whatever else I drink during the day. That usually does the trick. I did, Cilio. I did. When's the last time I was drunk? I don't remember. I don't really drink much. You need drunk loco in your life? I don't really enjoy being drunk that much. Being drunk is very overrated. I, I usually am pretty good at switching to water at an appropriate moment. I feel like that's the real superpower. That's the real... That's the real move. It's just the dehydration that gets you. Yeah, for the day after, that's the real issue. Hey, this is nice. Oh, I actually should have finished that one. It's okay. Hey, what's going on, Papooch? Man, the fact that it's 20 copper ore for one ingot is actually pretty nuts, isn't it? 
Um, the final objective for this game is to destroy every boss, I guess, in a PvE server. Um, the last ones are very strong, though. I don't really have any particular goal with this playthrough, by the way. If anybody's gonna be watching this at some point in the future or more loco. I know I normally only upload completed playthroughs. But I've already spent a lot of time in this game. I'm basically just gonna play this game for some time and see how it goes. Imagine watching this guy on YouTube. I know. Smash like, subscribe. Ring the bell icon, gently caress it with your little finger, hit it, click the button. Um, go to loco.shop, buy some merch, you know, the usual. Um, I guess I need more stone as well, yeah. And by the time I log again in tomorrow, guys, I'm gonna be heading off in like 10 minutes. By the time I'm logging back in tomorrow into this game, the odds of everybody having far surpassed me are pretty big. Weak? I am pretty weak. We've already surpassed you, Loco? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Um... There's some clay over here. Okay. This is where the boss guy is running around, but this is also the location where we have most copper ore, it seems. Okay. Errol, let me be! Errol, don't look at me! I'm invisible! I am smashing up all the things, yeah! We're going for the bear loco if you want to kill it before you go. Uh, the bear is close by, isn't it? Somewhere around this part. I don't remember exactly though. Southeast? Oh, that's pretty far. Uh, I guess I can go... I can check out Bunny's castle. I'll go on over to Bunny's castle for a sec. I can teleport over there, yeah. Alright, I'm coming. I haven't upgraded my gear though. I was busy decorating my beautiful palace. <laughs> Everybody else has been, uh... Busy upgrading their gear. I've been busy upgrading my... What, you have one of these things outside your home? A corpse pile? Hello. What a beautiful, efficient place. Bunny doesn't even have rooms yet, guys. How embarrassing. Uh, I should have picked another one. You don't actually see you guys on the map. Um, yes, we go. His clan tech is pleb. My clan tech is pleb. There's one clan on the server and it's called pleb. <laughs> Argyle made the clan. He is the pleb leader, so to say. He's the master pleb. What, Topia's 41? I'm level 22, what the f- Ay, 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 ay.
The guy's a real gamer gamer. Wait, the bear is that high level? You can come watch and then join after the bear is dead? Guys, I'm already being outclassed here. What's going on? Average viewer of mine is an absolute giga chat. Am I even trying? No, I'm just having fun. The bear's 35. I can barely believe. Oh, I'm 22. Okay. I'm still trying to make a servant's coven, case. I, uh... Oh, I can actually make one of those. Hey, Mott. Grim Horse Gaming? Is this your horse? Grimmy already has it. 41 as well. I don't think we can kill this, guys. I'm not convinced that we can kill it. Uh, I can get my next tier of gear right now, but I haven't really bothered. I'm playing for fun, man. I feel like the guys in the game are judging me for having fun. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I was pimping out my crib. They were studying the blade. Well said. All right, boys, here we go. Everybody charge now. Not me, though. Everybody else. Okay, fine, I'll help out, too. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I should join in, though, because I feel like I'm going to die. I'm just going to cast here from a distance on cooldown. That's my current excuse. Or, I mean, strategy. Bearman doesn't seem to, oh, do much. He did try to swipe at me once. Uh, it's a brown bear, chat. I think with a brown bear, you're supposed to lie down. With a black bear, you fight back, no? This is not a very difficult fight, it seems. He's pretty easy to dodge. This is just Alaska. Yo, TTYY. BB! I almost died. Looking at your name in the chat. Would have been worth it though. Thank you very much. And suck. Nice. Big suck. Stronger. Big suck. Bear boys! Bear boys, bear boys. Mutlasses is a little slow. Come on, Mutlasses, you can do this, mate. Come on, Mott, you got it. Come on, Mott, we're gonna have to unmod you if you can't figure out how to transform into a bear. Oh, okay, he figured it out. Ooh, that was close. We were close to unmodding. <laughs> Bear voice. <laughs> Bear voice going crazy, dude. Whoa. Yeah. Grimney, you can join the Bear Boy gang. It's okay. Grimney thinks he's too good for us. What a guy. Unbearable. Okay, I think I'm gonna go head on back towards my castle. Castle? I'm going back to my castle. Castle. Ah, uh, Grimdy, come on, man. Family friendly show. This isn't working. No, Mottles is no.
Kassel. K A S O L. Uh, this is dumb. I should not be doing this. Uh. Don't worry, there's many people nearby to revive me. Not that I need it. You just want to say my name, Echo Soldier. You just said Loco. Like 10 seconds ago. 20 seconds ago. 30 seconds ago. You just said Loco. Okay. He just needs to say my name sometimes, Jet, and I think that's beautiful. Sometimes when you stare into the void, the void stares back. Okay. Um, let's see. I have a workbench. Workbench. Plep nepper. Heart plepper. <laughs> Heart plepper. I don't know why I still think that's funny. I'm sorry. Heart plepper. <laughs> it's fun to say though. Merciless Copper Sword. That's what we were looking for. That was 12 whetstones? Are you insane? Um I need copper ingots as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make that. Boom, new weapon. Boom, gamer moment. How much copper do I have over here? Not enough. Okay. And then I have that terrible room upstairs. That is kind of nice, but also kind of a walk. We'll throw in the stones over there. I don't know if I need stone bodies. I guess I should probably also make some stone bodies. Stone bodies! That was it, sorry. I don't know if you expected more, but... Okay, we'll throw in like that. I bring gifts. Ooh, gifts? Ooh, copper ingot and whetstone? Yo, harambe, thank you. Sorry, maranwe. Thank you. What did maranwe mean again? I think sysadmin mentioned it earlier. It was something in elfish. Leather. There we go. Uh, merciless Night Stalker leggings. Okay. I need some coarse threat. You can eat a rat or a heart or whatever, Motless is. Coarse threat. There you go. Require more resources to make that. More copper ingots. Did you die over here? What happened? What is going on here? Who is this? Heart Nepper? <laughs> Heart Nepper is just trolling, man. Having a good time. Um. Got some new gloves. Got some new boots. Okay, that puts me at level 27. That's already quite a bit better. With the sword equipped, 32. Okay. Um, I would very much so like to have the ring. Gravedigger ring is what I need. Morning Lily or Blood Rose? 
Does anybody have any morning lily or blood, lo blood rose? I don't have any of that, I don't think. Uh, morning lily, blood rose. I have Hell's Clarion and Pollen. Snowflower, cotton. Hmm. Oof. Are you sure, Evie? That's a lot. Damn. Okay, that's a lot. You have tons of blood rose? I think you can grow it, right? Um, I have these growing pots, but I don't have the seeds for it either. Are we going full streamer perks? <laughs> I think we may be, guys. Am I a bad guy? I don't know. Thank you, Hartnepper. Streamer perks strike again. I'm gonna need it to catch up with these guys, man. Tomorrow they're gonna be 17 steps ahead of me. Okay, I can make a grave digger ring. And then I can either choose the ring of the spell weaver, dawn runner, or dusk watcher. I honestly don't care. Any of them will do. Oh my god. So much support. Ah! Uh, I already have one of those things sitting in the blood press. Two of them even. That's good. And then I need some... Some things. Change the server password when you log out, Loco? No, 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 no. That kind of defeats the purpose. Okay. Extra movement speed is really nice. Love that. It was accidentally the only one I could make, but... That puts me at level 41 now. Okay. That is already so much better than, you know, where I was at previously. I'm not gonna lie, all of this junk lying around, my messy inventory, a random bunch of shit in all of these chests... It, it does give me a little bit of anxiety, and I really do want to fix it, but I think we're gonna do that tomorrow. Yeah. You wish there was a loco Minecraft? Maybe at some point I will, man. When I'm thinking, you know, my audience, the average age is just really getting out of hand. I need to lower the age of my demographic. I may... No, if I feel like it, I may very well give it a try. Um, <clears throat> this actually was a significant improvement now in my gear setup here. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a servant coven. That's what I was thinking of. Um, it's under dominance, copper ingot and plank. I definitely have those, so we're gonna end with me doing one of the main objectives. And I guess I should probably also dump it over here in the letter thing, the tannery. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's put down a, uh, a servant. A servant coffin. This will all be moved around at some point. Construct and interact with the servant coffin. Insert a charmed human to start conversation. Another accomplishment. Use dominate human to convert a human into a servant and interact with the servant. I think we'll get started with that tomorrow. That sounds like a good plan. Dominating a human to get started with? I think that's a good plan. How do you dominate a human? Share in my power. Ah, there it is. Guys. Guys, I just logged into V Rising. What is this? Why? Wh wh why am I in? I logged out in the coffin. I most definitely logged out in the coffin. 
Anyways, I don't know what you guys did to my place. I didn't. I feel like I did. No. I did not log out in my coffin. What did I do? Did I just log out? I just... Amazing. Um... Where am I? How far away am I? Where? How did I get here? Oh, okay, I'm still in my own place. Oh, okay. I was a little concerned. I was somewhere on the other side of the planet. But that would have been a major undertaking. So, the trolling... Yeah, there was a little bit of trolling, but... 5 out of 10. Yeah, good execution or good idea overall, but as far as the commitment goes, it could have been an 8 if I was right over here somewhere, you know? If I... Yeah, if I woke up in, in somebody else's castle. Low effort troll, yeah. Well, well done. Anyways, guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing alright. Good to see ya. Hmm. I've been really looking forward to getting back in this game again, guys. I'm a bit of a nerd, it turns out. Why did you look at me right away, Loco? I didn't do it. Oh no, it was definitely Bunny Warren. I I am like, if I were a betting man and I would have to bet on my... I, it would definitely be Bunny Warren. Yeah. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You're not even in the game? No, you're not even in the game right now. It wasn't you. Really? It wasn't me. Lay her down on the sofa. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Guys, um, I got started with a new server yesterday. If you guys want to join, exclamation point, join in the chat. This server is available to uh, every nerd that wants it. Um, at least on this channel. I try to keep it a bit of a community server. We can have up to 25 players at once. And to my great enjoyment, I saw like 16 people playing an hour ago. Which is really neat, because I wasn't sure. I was a little afraid we we're going to have like three people online. Which is okay. But I'm happy to see that the server is being used. That being said, I have spent six hours in this game so far. And I believe Grimdy played like 16 hours yesterday. Maybe more. So, I am fairly sure, um, I am already incredibly far behind to some of the real grinders. Let's see. Hey guys. Quick question. What's your gear level? He made it- wait, he streamed 24 hours, did he actually? My gear level is 41 right now, which I feel like is pretty good. 61? 44? 60? Oh my god. 44, 50, 22, hey, Madam is here too, awesome. Alright, so yeah, I have already fallen behind a little bit, but that's okay. That's alright. Um, I, um, he believed me, lol? I mean, I don't know what you're, you're taking it a bit slow. Nah, I mean, it's a game for, you know, g games generally, this is, I know for the StarCraft community in general, difficult to fathom, but... Video games, for most people, are meant as a way to enjoy their past, like, their, their, their free time. People play video games for fun. I know, people, that's what people do. It's a crazy concept, I agree. But that's what people do. Um, I've built this place over here. I, um, spent too much time on it, and I probably shouldn't have. However, I gotta say, I kinda like it. So... I definitely want to do more, you know, V-Blood hunting today. I also want to continue building up my castle. I want to improve my gear. We got a, yeah, we got some stuff to do. We got some things to take care of. Thank you, by the way, Formless Void for the 27 months just a couple minutes ago. While the stream was still loading. I appreciate you. Fun hinders the macro. You're not wrong. Starcraft players are the masochists of the gaming world, man. My Who is willingly out there playing a game where having 300 actions per minute is not only considered to be the norm, it's even expected. I must make room if I want to... My inventory is already full. Yeah, I gotta I gotta go do some stuff. Um I wanna go. I, I've decided this is gonna be okay, here's here's my grand vision, okay? The grand vision of the palace. 
This room over here on the back is gonna be my um, tomb room or whatever you call this. I have my castle heart over here. This is where my servant covens are gonna be. This is where I get to hang out, you know? This is where I sleep in my coven. Well, not apparently last night, but... The Master Batorium. Yes, this is the Master Batorium. I, I like that name. Um, then I want to have a staircase on either side. There's one staircase over here already. The Fungin. Sure, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I want to make rooms up here and I want to create a second floor. And I want to have a similar spiraling staircase on the other end. And I'm thinking of actually doing like a courtyard right here on the outside. Maybe I'll do another room in front or something, but that's where my teleporter is gonna be. I also want to be able to like grow crops. So I think I'm actually gonna have an outside area in the middle of my castle. Which sounds really impractical, but I think it'll look good. Yeah, one of the things they introduced with this new patch is uh, floors, multiple floors. Diablo and Minecraft had a baby. Basically. That is essentially what this game is. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I think this is gonna be my storage room. You can plant inside as well. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see what I do. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna... That's what I'm thinking of right now, but... Um, I gotta make sure I have some storage, because I am always full in my backpack. Um, yeah, I'll make a big stash over here. I don't think these are gonna last me all too long. But I'll just I'll just dump a bunch of stuff into it. I think that's a good idea. Just so I don't always walk around with all of my junk. So I guess this is gonna be blood-related things. Oh, a spell modification. Is that new? Jewels. Okay, I don't know. Um these are red, so I'm gonna put those in the blood category. This thing is also red, so we put that in the same category too. Uh, this is gonna be resources, or things, right over here. I think that's probably a good call. Just basic resources. Um, this weapon I can definitely salvage, I'll go ahead and do so. I'll put flowers in here as well. I don't know if I should really bother organizing it at all, because these, these chests, these containers are gonna be... Yeah, I don't know. I'll just dump everything in here. Um, these containers are gonna be... ...pretty easy to, uh... ...to improve on later. I have not applied a single spell jewel yet, no. I haven't noticed that I could. Server is not full right now, unless a lot of people logged in since I logged in. But I logged in, like... ...uh, ten minutes ago, maybe? Something like that. Okay. I like the fact that you can actually salvage everything for 100%. That's really nice. What's going on, Rumpus? Good morning. What's going on, Granticus? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing alright. How are you doing, V-Master? V-Master. That is correct. That is my name. How did you know? I am the Master. Of the V. Um, I set up such a thing last time I played this game that allowed you to craft stuff as long as things were close enough. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Does anybody remember how I set that up? Uh, you don't need any of the DLCs for this game. You can just literally... Was that a mod? I don't think it was a mod. You don't have to get any of the DLCs. Apparently the DLCs are just cosmetics. <sighs> what is going on, Barnacle? How's the community sucking going? Very well, thank you. Okay. We'll wait for a second and devour everything and then I'll put everything in the chest. What's up, Rezzy? Hey, what's going on, Voigtling? Welcome. I don't really know how big some of these rooms need to be. That's kind of my main problem, I guess. Um, I think what I'm gonna do... 
is move this room upstairs. I think this is going to be like my first upstairs room. Because I want to destroy this entire room today. Even though I spent time building it last time. Um... I want to have some rocks over here, some stones, now we can build a room. I don't know what the easiest way of setting this up is, but I want to have like a spiraling staircase. And maybe I should have like corridors leading this way. That's probably a good idea, although I don't know if it's possible. Can I have like a... Castle floor? Oh, I need blood essence for that, okay. The sun, no! Ha! Huh. The amount of stuff in the patch notes in this game, it kind of... Have you ever seen Dota 2 patch notes? It kind of looks like that. You're getting Timberborn. Timberborn flashbacks. Spiraling staircases in Timberborn were hard, man. Don't judge me. I feel like you're judging me right now. I really like the fact you can have a second floor, though. That's awesome. Yeah, so I can make, like, a catwalk over here. That's really cool. So I don't know what the most convenient way of doing this is. Um, I should probably have the staircase on the other end done first. You can even have a third floor? I don't think I want to have a third floor, man. Third floor sounds like too many staircases. We've had one floor, yes. What about second floor? It's my best impression. Don't think it was very good. Mm -mm -mm. 